Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb, and this is going to be a let's play of Civilization VI. We just finished our game with Indonesia, that was pretty much my first ever real proper Emperor game. Uh, well, it, well, not actually proper, and that's the thing. And we did play on Marathon Speed, we did play on an uh, Archipelago map, so everything was skewed in our favor. So I want to play on a bog standard map and see if I survive. And uh, I also want to play with the Dutch. Because I want to see if we can get the polders to do anything for us. The polders are another improvement that goes into the ocean tiles, or rather the coastal tiles. But unlike the kampung or the aquaculture pond, or whatever that's called, this thing doesn't require a sea resource. So it can be built anywhere as long as the continent shape is appropriate. You just, you just need like an S-bended continent or something like that. Lots of coves and uh, coves and fjords and whatever you want to call them. Or little channels up to islands, that sort of thing. And ultimately all you need really to do is improve a pretty bad tile into a decent tile, so I don't know how strong it's going to be, but... We'll see. Uh, more str uh, more important for us is probably the Gotha de bonus. Major adjacency bonus, I think that's plus two resources. For campuses, theater squares and industrial zones, if next to a river. So we definitely want rivers. And we also get a culture bomb whenever we build a harbor district. Normally we would build those close to the city center, so we might not get much out of this thing, but who knows, we'll see. And we also have a couple of bonuses to our trade routes. I did th talk about having an actual trade game where I just try to get as much gold as possible, but if I do that, I'm probably going to play some other civ. Uh, Egypt comes to mind, they're a much better trade civ than uh, the Dutch. I believe, let's see. Cleopatra, there you are. Yeah, plus four gold for every trade route, and also all other nations are encouraged to trade with you, because they're gonna get food out of that. So, yeah. But yeah, this time around we're gonna play the Dutch, put all bugs under things, and we'll see how that goes. And in the interest of full disclosure, this isn't gonna be the first time I try this. <laughs> I have started, I think, like a half a dozen games so, so far. And usually what happens is that I get crushed by the AI. Uh, yeah, I'm that incompetent on Emperor difficulty, so we'll, we'll see if I can survive, and I do mean that. <laughs> From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization, on towards the stars. Queen Wilhelmina, you will defend the Netherlands to the last. Turn coastland to farmland with Dutch ingenuity. Your citizens will farm with great efficiency, knowing that they are under the protection of your mighty warships. Above all, trade with everyone you meet. A good deal can turn a foe into a friend, and if not, the money will fund your opposition. Okay, let's see how this goes. But as, I as I said just before, I have tried this several times, and either I get my ass kicked by the AI, because they have much stronger military forces than me, and they start pretty darn close, or the map is so awful that it's impossible to do anything to catch up. But, so we'll see what the map gives us this time. Be kind, map, be kind. Well, it's certainly not the worst start I've ever seen. It's not the greatest either, but it's certainly good. Uh, no, certainly not the worst. Anyways, two rivers. So we have rivlands. We have plenty of rivlands. That is positive. Uh, the negative thing is that's pretty much all we have. We don't have any good uh, drive squares. I, yeah, that's what they usually call them. Squares that have tons of yields in a single plot. We actually have none. We have a drive square over there for four resources. We stand on one. So, the question is, what are we going to do here? Anyways, luxuries. There's an incense there. That's a pretty crap luxury. Amber is pretty crap. What do you, oh, still, there are two of them. We have some bonus rice, some copper, a lot of wheat, some stone. Well, I don't know. Is there a city state that starts right on top of us? No, okay, fine. So we have that blessing going for us at least. Do I want to move my capital? Uh, you suggest I move it here. Well, I have no idea what we're going to gain. I know what we're going to lose. 
Is that a shoreline? It's not a shoreline. There's still some landmass over there. So there is going to be some more land up there. This river ends here. So this map, this tile looks flat. So that's a, if we settle here, there's a possibility we can settle a city there. That's what I'm looking at. If I move here, I know I can settle a city up here. And by the looks of things, there's more land on this side. On the other hand, if I settle there, I could potentially settle cities down here. I don't know. And we don't know what's over here. You know what? Let's uh, explore what little we can. Except that's nothing at all because this one, these were hills. No! I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Uh, advantage of settling in place. Well, it's on a hilltop, so we're going to have more defense. I, that's good. But it's still not going to be a better site, I think. Problem is, if I move here, we're going to move further away from any good squares, too, so... I don't know if it's advantageous. We're going to move away from the rice, we're going to move away from the stone. But then we know we're going to have an expansion site up there. I'm going to move. I'm gonna move because then that mean that means we can certainly place more districts around here and create a triangle district here, for example, and that sort of thing. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And I hope I did not make a mistake there. Probably did. <laughs> Still, I'm gonna do it anyway. That means we, now we have a dry square. It, it, because I'm almost certain it's gonna use this tile now for resources. Um. What do we have? That requires irrigation. I think we're still gonna go mining first. I'm still gonna risk a scout. It's probably a bad idea to be honest, because the AI will crush us, but if we find goody huts, that might turn the balance. I guess you'll go here now. Uh, yeah, go there and then north. Oh, it is a lake! I thought it was a coastline. Well then. That's interesting. I want you to explore this way though. This northern river. Okay. Oh, damn it. We found someone. Oh, it was Lisbon. Okay, fine. That's okay then. So, we don't start right on top of an AI, but... We're pretty close to a city-state. Uh, that's two city sites, at least. We'd have to settle here rather quickly if we want to steal the rice and the horse. Or we could just try to conquer Lisbon. We could. Don't think it would be advantageous, but it's possible. Let's go up on the hill and cross the river next turn. He's going to go this way and then around. I'm slightly encouraged by the fact that we have not yet immediately found an AI. Slightly encouraged. Okay, so he found Lisbon, so that barbarian is going to hurt Lisbon. That's good. As long as it's not us. I'll start bronze working, that's fine. And our scout is gonna go here and scoot around here, I guess. Check around here, but then go this way back again. Oh, is that a coastline? That's a coastline, isn't it? Okay, go over here just to verify that it's a coastline, and then you can go further south. Slinger next, I think. Though, we have lots of really cheap resources. We could possibly get the builder out fast. Now, get the, get the slinger. We get the slinger. We need more units. And that's on the far side of the river. Ah, fine. Go in that direction. I need that goody hut. Okay, so it's unlikely that there's a sieve right north of us. They usually don't stop uh, start in the tundra. Okay, there's an enemy sieve. Which one? White and light blue. I don't have these colors memorized, so I'm not sure. Uh, Greece? 
America, Persia, Greece. Well, he's usually not the most aggressive, so sure. Oh, that's Athens. Holy, we start right on top of each other. Well. We start right on top of each other. Uh, you did build the first city, didn't you? Make deal. Yeah, you already found Ephesus. Send delegation. Excellent. Uh, yeah, we're not really fighting for any city-states, so... But yeah, okay. Um, getting a set down here is now pretty high on my wish list. I just don't know if I, don't know if I can afford that. Cross the river, then you're gonna go down there this way. Uh, if I can build a city down here and defend it, that's the key thing. Because the second we build something down there, he's gonna be interested in killing me. Did we actually find you first? We did. That means that Greece has turned their entire attention southward. None of their scouts have gone north, or at least not in this direction, which is great for us. So now we get a bonus to building units. Oh, yes please. Well, only military units, but still. Grab this. A free builder! That is very good, so now we don't have to worry about that bit either. Um, don't have mining yet, so go there and farm. Got the trigger for Yuri. That's, this is good, this is good. You took this square, that's kind of unfortunate. We don't need luxuries, but uh, we'll only have the ability to get the amber. It's going to cost too much gold, we can't do that. Uh, what kind of tasks did you give us? Military tradition and craftsmanship. Okay, got it. You already grown, damn it. You you have better squares than we do. And there's the barbarians. We're just gonna, you know, scoot on by. Goody hot. Uh, yeah, we got this goody hot. I want to explore along the shore here. I might have to cross back over. I will see. Should have a slinger very soon, so... It's gonna take you two turns to get to this square. Do that. Then we're gonna farm this one, I think. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Just gonna do some farming. Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? I think we need to go animal husbandry and towards archery. I'll need to defend myself here, almost certainly. Uh, go there. I can send the slinger up to explore this side and then do a tandem towards the coast. I'm gonna have to avoid that guy. Oh, okay, that explains why there's no one on this side. <laughs> That also explains why he moved south. Okay. Okay, uh, Athens. Or Greece. Have you met anyone? You have not met anyone. But you're growing much faster than me, of course. Uh, go here for now. Well then. Uh Yosemite Valley to me is always a sunrise. A glitter of green and golden wonder in a vast edifice of stone and space. Okay, some extra gold and science. Way in the north. Not the worst I've seen, I suppose. Um, you know what? You're going to cross the river and do the east squares, and then I'm going to move to our north. Uh, choose production. Yeah. <sighs> We're gonna have to. 
I'm gonna need to get this river valley and protect it. I think. We're gonna grab this good yacht. Free experience. Well, okay. Fine. Not my favorite thing in the universe, but I'll take it. Um, go to this one, please. Hey! The Greeks have arrived. I don't know if they've snuck by here, though. They have not snuck by there, otherwise that goody hut would not be there. Uh, you know what, cross here first. I need to just get this area. Then you can cross back up again. And the Greeks are over here now. With their scout. Is there any location for a city between these? Not really. Let's pop over there, just have a look. Okay, fine. Then I suppose we'll go down here and have a look what's in our and what's south of us. Okay, so if I can somehow build a, a city here and hold it, I think we just have, might have a viable start here. Just might. That's gonna be the craftsmanship trigger. Goody huts. Okay, 40 gold. Not the not the worst. Uh, da, 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 let's have a look. That is probably the scout from this one. There are more barbarians around. Ugh. Well, of course there are more barbarians around. Why wouldn't there be? Here's the thing, though. If there's a city state or something over here. Best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. Yeah, anyway, if there is something good over there, we need to get there first. Anyways, we're gonna go with this and um, Barbarian Combat Strength. You are going to scoot up here. Still six turns until we need you further back home. Um, you need to explore this one. It's gonna take three extra turns, but that's fine. We already boosted craftsmanship, so we can pick that one next, I think. Yeah, yeah, think. go with that, go with that. You are on that square. Okay, we're gonna sneak around then. Right, we sent an envoy to Kabul because we finished their assignment. Oh. You're going south. Okay, there's nothing there. Fine. Uh, five turns, let's see. One... Two, three, yeah, that's fine. You can go one more. Okay, you're not gonna go closer to that one. He's gonna try and kill you, so. Fine, retreat. I'm gonna guess that uh, Greece has uh, explored everything in this area, but we'll try anyway. It seems fairly certain that there's not going to be a, a barbarian encampment down here, as long as the Greeks are moving units around. You're just going to go down this way and see what you can find. Has, have you found anyone else? Yes. Okay, so there are someone else to, to the south there. That's fine. They're probably going to be too far away to be, a, to be an immediate problem. Okay. I'll take that. Not sure what you're rewarding me for there, though. Uh, I mean, we haven't really had a chance to do anything yet. Go there. You cross across. There we go. Fantastic. And you just scoot this way. Oh, goody hut. So, you got me the Eureka. It's not because I found a new con- It's not because I found a new continent, because we start on a continental divide. I hate when this happens. Because you're not gonna get the Eureka when you start like this. It's really annoying. Ah well. Done is done. I am fond of pigs. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. So they do. Um, 
What's the cost of a slinger? You know what? We're gonna buy a slinger. You're gonna go back here. We're gonna use this slinger to escort this guy down. And you guys are gonna kill this camp over there. I do need archery ASAP though, so we're gonna start researching it and hopefully we'll get the boost in the process and everything will be hunky-dory. And that's why he hasn't been in here, it's all jungle. So Ephesus is probably right down here somewhere. Didn't go sideways either, which is great. So I have my hopes we can get the settler down there before Greece. Yeah, and we'll see if we can kill this encampment. He's gonna come out and smack it, smack me now. Almost certainly. Uh, across the river. Okay, there's another sieve. Red and white. So that means the white is the primary color, yeah. And red is the defining color. Which sieve would that be? Which I have them memorized. But I don't. Yeah, you did attack me, which was not a big surprise. Uh, I want to grab the goodie hut first. A free builder! Nice. Um, I'm going to run away. You're probably going to move back. Go there. Settler, give chase. Builder, um, the city is pretty small now. Yeah, you're gonna give chase and improve the new city. So we know that he's gonna attack us. It is pretty much given. I'm gonna go with another slinger. So we'll have at least three archers to defend. And I want to meet whoever's down here. A Georgia. So she's gonna get pissed at us if we don't build city walls everywhere. And keep them up to date. Wanted to meet you. That's fine. That is your capital. Really? Okay, you guys are pretty close to one another. Um, there might still be some goody huts down here. I don't know. But at this point, I want to map out the area and just know what's up there. Gonna take my chances. There is probably something better up in the Arctic here too. Yeah, let's send a scout back. Let's just map out this area and then go north of this area. Because I think my military units are gonna have to be... Uh, well, first of all, we need to defend this thing. Or kill this thing. Oh, he's gonna... Oh! Well, that's interesting. I'm gonna go down here. Oh, I can't, damn it. Let's go there. Now you can't save your city. Let's go there. Let's see if we can be smart about this. Go here. Go there. Oh, yeah, loyalty. That's, uh... That's true. That's gonna be a bit of an issue. Only a little bit of an issue, though. Oh, you did settle here. Ah, uh, okay. So you're not going to be fond of me at all. But I am okay with this. Yeah, that's going to be a plus four loyalty thing. Um, so we'll definitely need to rush a monument. And then grow the city a bit, but that's okay. We all settle on another continent, so yeah, definitely monument first. I think you're gonna stay right in the city. Oh boy, yeah, I did mention that I'm playing with open windows, so if you hear the sound of helicopters, that would be why. <laughs> Do 
This is what happens when you have like a forest fire area and all that fun stuff. Okay, um, he's still... You know what? We're gonna sneak around here. If you're still determined to come and kill me... I'm actually kind of okay with this. Anyways, barring more choppers, we'll be back with another episode soon. Time for a break. <laughs> Thank you for watching.